Television Dude, and Hunter. And we thought we'd show off our favorite records that we have picked up recently and, and listened to. And thought we'd show off a few of our all-time favorites. Yeah. Lots of good stuff. I want to start off with my... I think I can say my four favorite albums I own. Yeah, One good. is Hot Rats by Frank Zappa, which I think is amazing. See if I can back this up. Actually, I can not pick my favorite album that I own. Here. I love this album to death. i got to hear it again. It's 99% instrumental. And it is awesome. And that cover is wicked. That cover is cool. I picked this up recently. Miles Davis Bitches Brew. Which also has one of the coolest covers of all time. That is just awesome. Plus, it's a really great album. I'm new to jazz. So I am mean, I. I've introduced myself maybe a couple years ago to some Miles Davis and yeah. some things. And I've been, and then we've been finding some in the dollar bin. I paid more than a dollar for this yeah. one, though. I paid like eight seven. I think it was like eight forty five. Yeah, but it's totally worth it because it's worth probably close to twenty, isn't it? Yeah, somewhere around there. And it's amazing. But everything we've heard jazz wise has been excellent. All yeah, excellent. I picked this up recently for twenty five. It's worth about twenty five to thirty. But it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. It was a little bit of inner groove distortion. I don't know if it, uh, the previous owner wore it out a little bit or if it's my turntable, but I don't hear inner groove distortion all the time. We're still working on it. Yeah. Kind of sucks because Rocket Queen's my favorite song. Yeah, one of my And of too. course, my Fat Boys Pizza Box set. With the, uh, with the, of course, the uh, pizza disc. Yay. Really cool. Picture disc. I like how the bottom is burnt crust. It's the debut. I think this being on the shelf, being pushed, uh, is a little bit of a tear now. Uh, oh, is there? Just a tiny bit. Oh, well. I have to be more careful with it. Now, we I picked this up only as an impulse. A complete impulse. Dollar. It was a dollar. And this turned out to be one of the rock, the most awesome hard rock albums I've ever heard. Yes. And the movie was good. And we watched the movie, too. And it was actually pretty fun. The group is called Fastway, and they did the whole soundtrack for the movie Trick or Treat. And it was completely, completely amazing. The movie also has a short role with Gene Simmons and a small cameo with Ozzy Osbourne. But it's great. It's a good movie. Yes. You should watch it. It's not so bad. So then we decided if we found it, we would pick up more Fastway. So we also picked up... The debut. The debut. We both got this one. We liked it a lot, but we still like this one better. And I think that's an unpopular opinion. Yeah, this one's actually uncommon. Yeah. I think uh, in the UK you can get it pretty cheap. Uh, pretty cheap. In the US, you probably can't get it less than thirty. Yeah. So how you found that in a dollar bin, I'll never know. Right. Uh, Joe Cocker, a little help from my friends, his debut. I never heard a full Joe Cocker album, but the, this is awesome. I only knew. What was that? I, help from my I friends. knew with a little help from my friends, and feeling I, all right, and I feeling all right. But you made me listen to the rest. I think. And uh, it, uh, Change in Louise, or was man uh, Mar Margarine Sandpaper Cadillac? And Sandpaper Cadillac was awesome. Yeah, wow. I wasn't a Joe Cocker fan, but I listened to it and it was good. And I never heard this growing up either. I didn't either. And I wasn't sure what to think, but it was awesome. Yeah, we all the way to through. This and it was great. Really liked. Uh, of course, Folsom is pretty. Folsom Prison Blues, I love. What was the one I really liked? Cocaine Blues was awesome. I think the, and 25 Minutes to Go was awesome. 25 Minutes to Go, that was the one and I, I really, really liked. I really liked Jackson as well. I really liked 25 Minutes to Go. That was a cool one. Uh, I got this off eBay, but I've always wanted. Uh, I'm a fan of DJ Desi Jeff and the Fresh Prince. I fan am of now the song, too. just one of those days. And this is the original version where they actually sing during the chorus. Really? Where they take that off of the album version exactly. and all the other greatest hits versions. And I hate, I'm ashamed to say I had never heard a full Alice Cooper album. I hadn't either. Let me put this one up front. In my life. But I hadn't heard one either. Actually, we got this one first, though. We got this one first. And, and this is c considered one of the weaker albums. And we liked it all the I way through. I think it was my favorite one out of the three. Tied with Love It to Death. Yeah. This one I really liked because of the song Black Widow. And the, song that, the three songs in a row. Those three songs were awesome. And uh, there, there was some other ones we liked, too, an yeah. awful lot. It was good. 
This, this one is awesome. Great. This has got a censored cover. There's one where, where his his arm comes down, or his yeah, his arm comes down, yeah. and his thumb hangs out the bottom of the jacket. And it's a censored cover. I mean, this is the uncensored yeah. version, but I have the censored version. This was awesome all the way through too. We all we loved to death the song. The Ballad of Dwight, Dwight that Fry. That might be the best Alice Cooper song that I have ever heard. It is amazing. Uh, a couple soundtracks. Oh, you bought uh, out some soundtracks? Yeah, I am a huge fan of the movie Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. So, I, of course, I, I wanted the soundtrack. I got this one off eBay. Yeah. I normally don't buy off eBay, but this one I, I did. My favorite is The Old Fun City. That is my favorite song. Is it? I wish it was longer. Cool. Haven't seen that, that movie. Needs, needs to go. Song. Needs to go on my watch list. Yeah. And one of my all-time favorite movies, The Godfather. I still haven't seen it. This is gatefold with pictures on the inside. I bet the soundtrack's really good. Yeah. Oh, it is amazing. If you know the movie. Yeah, I bet it's great. Uh, Hunter gave me this next one, and both of us had never heard it before. I eventually got an upgrade because it was kind of and rough shape. Taco, Taco, after eight, famous for putting on the Ritz. Put on the Ritz, but he was, <laughs> but everything had a like a. Uh, it was almost like a. Uh, what kind of style you want to call it's it? It's like a, not steampunk, but it was like no, modernized. Uh, almost like a classical style. Classical style, jazzy versions. Kind yeah, of. I I I forget what you call this style. Of singing in the I can, rain. I can think of it in my head, but I can't think yeah. of what the word is. Well, we'll think of it after it's over. Yeah. He did sing it. All these songs were great. The well, album was good all yeah, the way through. Yeah, that was actually surprisingly a good one. Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting much. I wasn't either. Uh, I like this album a lot. Yeah. Tom Jones Live in Las Vegas. It was really good. Uh, even if you're not, if you think Tom Jones, you're thinking that mm -hmm. the silly skit from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with, you know, uh, what's, what's the song? Uh, I, it's Not Unusual. Yeah. He does some really good takes on other people's songs, too. His version of Hey Jude, His, yesterday. yesterday, Twist and Shout, really good, Almost too. better than the originals. Yeah, they're really, really good. Yes. Oh, my God. I gotta get it. It's a dollar he, he record. He puts a good, like, big band, big band style, style yeah. to the songs. And I'm new to big band, yeah. and I think it's amazing. Yeah. Diary of a Madman. Look at the cover. I think the best song on here is actually, though, uh, Over the Mountain. Dude. When it kicks off, it kicks off hard. I really like Flying High again. Yeah. Uh, I have a childhood memory of this. A cousin of mine had this, and so I, I was, like, in awe of this cover. It is really badass. This, yeah. I don't know which cover of his is better, this one or Bark at the Moon. I didn't even pull up Bark at the Moon. Oh, why didn't you? Oh, I can grab it real quick while you do that. It's right over there, right? Yeah, it should be. I don't know if it's his best album in full, but it's really good. His best is probably still Blizzard of Oz, but I don't own that on record yet. I do love Blizzard of Oz. Keep in mind, this is about our favorite records that we picked up, not just our favorite music of all oh, time. No, I'll pull that up. Or I'd be pulling out CDs and stuff. Rush. Caress of Steel. I think it's my favorite Rush album. And that's uh, that's saying something. Because I love them all. But you hate my favorite song. Yeah, uh, Going Bald. I'm Going Bald. That doesn't, that doesn't uh, uh, fit on here. Yeah, if you we, we take off I'm Going Bald and put on, uh, what was it, By Tar the Snow Dog. This would have been a perfect album. You know, I'll be honest, I don't know where the Ozzy Osbourne went. Oh, maybe I did pull it out. It might be in that stack. Yeah, it might be. Might be thinking wrong. Here, I'll pull this out too. Long. But I love all the Rush albums up until Grace Under Pressure. Well, power, you said Power Windows was okay. It was okay. Here's a group we discovered not too long ago. I only knew their hit song. Which yeah. Is a great instrumental. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. By Focus. But this was an excellent album. Ham Hamburger Concerto. You wouldn't think much if you looked at it. But it is excellent. There's this, uh, like, uh, this riff with a bass drop. Yeah. And it, it's, a, it's a riff that might be copied by some other artists. Well, We've well, heard they, it in a couple songs. But they do that riff the best. Yeah, it I drops agree. hard. It drops really hard. I don't know. Did you pull out the other focus, too? The live one? No, I, I left. I should have put what? Briefly, we'll mention the Live at the Rainbow, 
also was excellent. Yes, very excellent. Very good. I forgot to bring it off the shelf. Thriller. I had this as a child, and I didn't think I'd pick it up cheap. And and I got it for 50 cents. The day cents. I decide not to look at records at McKay's, he pulls this out for 50 cents. Yeah, now I'm reunited. It's Thriller. You know, everybody knows Thriller. It's great all the way through. If you have a good stereo system with a good turntable, this is one of the best sounding records you can own. I'm sure. Yes. Especially that first song. Want to be starting something? Love that song. Yeah. Uh, experimental. Paid 50 cents for Experimental. It wasn't 50 cents? It was 50 cents. The Tubes. And it ended up good. being really good. Uh, it's kind of uh, like a poppy punk. I heard they were po more punk before this. Yeah. So we want to get some of the older stuff now. And some of the newer stuff. Cause somebody Another 50 cent experimental. Randy Van Warmer. I thought this would be absolutely awful. What's yeah. This is like a poppy... It's like pop rock. Yeah, and it was good. But the first song, what is it, Susie Found a Weapon? I don't even Great. like pop rock. I like much. pop rock. As much. Yeah. But I like this too. I have. We have another one we haven't listened to yet. Yeah. We still gotta play it. Keep in mind, in this video... We still have records that we bought we haven't even listened to yet. So in a week or two time, this whole list will oh, be different. There's probably more than 100. Or maybe we'll just do a part two. Yeah, there's hundreds we haven't heard. Because I know I'm going to say put on the Janis Joplin's yeah. and the Elvis and the Frank Sinatra. Yeah, every album you own will be your favorite. Uh, I got this off Discogs, right? Discogs? Yeah, that was Discogs. Uh, I didn't grab the other two, but that's okay. Yeah, the next this video. is probably the best one. Yeah, uh... The singles for Eric B. as President and My Melody by Eric B. and Rakim. These are not the album versions. Extended. These are the extended versions with, uh, there's swearing in my, my, my Melody, and there's an extra line in Eric B. as President that's not on the album. I didn't know anything about Eric B. and Rakim, but both those songs are excellent. Need a drink of Coke. Oh, here we go. Robin Trower. It'll be mentioned again later. Yeah, because uh, I discovered Robin Trower. Uh, maybe it was someone on YouTube I posted somebody, a video. I think it was somebody on YouTube. This is before I, I even showed it to you. Yeah. I downloaded it to my computer because I thought it was so awesome of a song. We sampled it. Uh, the song's not even on these albums, but, but it was still what awesome. What we sampled was great. What we sampled was great, so I said, well, maybe we'll try one of his albums. And he is... Oh, my God. He is like... The next, like the, the yeah, like Hendrix the, reincarnated. The white Hendrix. Yeah, he, his guitar playing is almost as good as Hendrix. It's it's close. He is an amazing guitar player. Yes, and these songs are awesome. This is his, probably his best one. We and only we have also, two. I also picked up uh, what's in this? City Dreams. In City Dreams. I also have both of these. It's almost as good, but not quite. Not, cl not quite, but it's also really, really good. Yeah. So if you like Hendrix, you or just Robin really Trower. good guitar playing, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, he introduced me to Herb Albert. I thought I was the only person on Earth. But then we've been watching this uh, series on YouTube about... Uh, the 10 best samples in hip-hop history. Yeah, and it's an ongoing series. Yeah. It's 10 videos. It's like every the 100 video. best samples at this point. But, but uh, we found out, since we already liked Herb Albert, we found out that a sample from Notorious B.I.G.'s Hypnotize... Came from an Herb Albert song. Yeah, and it's it's that drop in Hypnotize yeah. that... that yeah, yeah. I, I can't do this. I can't, re re I can't do the do it. And it's but. from the title Rise. But what an album! Yeah, the it, whole the album, album was, was good. Yeah, it was great. Because it, it's it's not what you're thinking. It's not you're not thinking big band. If you're thinking Arab Albert is like your standard like just weird jazz, it's not that at all. Not this one. And since I've been mentioning, I've been getting into jazz. We've been buying some jazz if we find it for cheap. This one or or free. Yeah, I'll or show free. You. Uh, I bought this one because it said J Chess Jazz Masters Series. I We both probably, in a few months ago, wouldn't have bought this. No. But we just listened to this. Last album we listened to before the video. It was amazing. And it was really, really good. It was amazing. It's not experimental jazz. It's like your classical 40s kind of jazz. And it was amazing. But it was really good. I bet I can guarantee you a year and ago. And this was a fr in the free bin. And, holy shit. For a dollar. No, 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 no. I said free bin. I yeah. Didn't. It was, it was, was free, even a dollar. This was free, Ben. And we, I didn't know, I forgot, I didn't know who Chick Corea was, because like I said, I'm new to jazz. Yeah. Sorry but to the jazz purists out there. We grabbed everything, and you're like, okay, let's try Chick Corea. This was amazing. It's right out there with Miles Davis, in my opinion. Yes, it's it was. It's really, really good. We have another one, too, which was also really good. Big band jazz. 
which is something that someone would just pass over. Oh, it's just some silly compilation. Yeah. No. This was... It was so good. Th this was one of my favorites that we had listened to. Only in released in Canada. <laughs> It's it's a compilation, so it, you know it's like is is it different artists? I guess. It's so shiny. Can't even read the name. Right? Yeah, I'm trying to see if I recognize any names because I don't know anybody. <sighs> I can't say I know any of these people. No, I don't know any of them. But wow, what an album! And uh, oh, here we go. This is a story. Yeah. Because one of the first rap songs I ever heard, maybe the first rap song I ever heard on the radio, was called "Rock and Radio" by Tom Brown. It's, it's, it's not really rap rap. It's like hip-hop, though. It's like early hip-hop. Really early, like 83. Yeah. So I decided uh, for 50 cents... Buy the album. I'd buy the album. Then when we finally listened to it, we realized... Uh, actually, we, we listened to this we one We listened to first. that one first. Because it was older. And it's it's like uh, funky jazz. Yeah. And we like funky jazz. I like the funky jazz. This was great all the way through. I was surprised. So we listened to this one, and it was more like hip hop, hip hop jazz, but really good, really good. Both the Tom Browns were excellent, excellent. Oh, here we uh, go. Yeah, I'm okay. jealous of both. We of bought these. this as experimental. We know nothing about Spooky Tooth, and it ended up being what you'd call experimental. It's like psychedelic rock, like psychedelic progressive rock, progressive rock. It was excellent. Yeah, side two, the and medley. This cover is awesome. Look at this cover. All we did find out about Spooky Tooth that it had the founder a foreigner. That's all we really know. So we bought another one, and oh my god, it was it, it's it's more it, experimental than this one. It is weird. And uh, if you look at the cover here, badass oh, uh, cover too. He's hammering in the nail. the nail to his head, and it's called Ceremony. And at first, I was like, oh no, did you buy a Christian album? Yeah, because it's like. Have mercy, jubilation, confession, for, prayer, offering, but it was actually not like it's that. Even I don't know which one I liked more. They were both excellent. This but was it was so really experimental weird. and weird. But we love weird and yeah. experimental. This is your I, thing here. Yeah, I decided. You know, I want to experiment. And plus, these were cheap, cheap. Well, I gave you the first one. Oh, well, I gave which you one? Puzzle People. Oh, you gave me Puzzle People. He gave me Temptations. The Temptations. So I'm thinking. The old Motown style temptations. No. No. Not at all. This is funky soul. And, and it's time. good stuff. And my favorite song is Message from a Black Man, which I think is an underrated classic. So underrated classic. I don't it's even, unreal. Don't even think it was a hit. No, it wasn't even a hit. But it, it about a dozen people covered it. Yeah. The two Life Crew used it as a sample. Yeah. So I decided to experiment with two that we found in a record store. This was excellent all the way through. So this had a funky soul uh, yeah. disco feel. Almost kind of disco, yeah. And uh, it was excellent all the way through. This is 70s Temptation, 1976. Yeah, and it was good. This one wasn't as good, but the title track was as good as the rest. Yeah. The song Power is, oh, wow, it was good. It and this was is really 1980. Good. This is 1980. The rest of it was hit and miss. Yeah, some was it, great. It was getting more towards the... Uh, yeah. The lighter, yeah. get into the j love song kind of stuff. But it was not terrible. Not terrible. Okay, the all-time classic, Abraxas. Uh, I already had it on CD. I knew what I was getting into. It's Abraxas. But it's amazing. It's amazing. It's I, one of the best uh, people recommend it all the time. You know, I really like the other one that we listened to, too. Yeah. Mortaletta. Uh, this is my thing. George is so good in the Destroyers. This is his debut. It's excellent. We'll have to air it. Yeah. Starts off hot with you got the Lose and Madison Blues. I know one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Yeah. And that might be the only song that I know. Oh, my God. This oh. was one of the best underrated classics of all time. I'm putting it. It's a, it's a masterpiece. It's a, it's masterpiece. a freaking masterpiece. David Johansson. And he thought I was buying some weird stuff. Well, all I knew was Buster Poindexter. Buster Poindexter. So I assumed it was going to be like that. <laughs> Not at all. No. Not even close. This is his debut after he left the New York Dolls. Yeah. And it's still kind of got a New York Dolls yeah. kind of feel. But holy shit. This, every song was great. The song Girls was amazing. Yeah. Uh, Donna was amazing. What was our favorite? It was on side two. Maybe, maybe in the Lonely Tenement, maybe? Maybe. But 
Wow. I really loved Girls, too, though. Yeah, Girls. Donna, I liked a lot. Funky too. by Sheik is, is, is his known song off this one. It should be said, I went online and I bought this. I had to have it. It's, it's that good. It's a masterpiece. Another impulse. I knew who Adam Ant was. I knew who Adam Ant was, too. I knew Goody Two Shoes and I knew Strip and a few other songs I heard I mean, on YouTube. Crackpot History. I never heard a full album. The what whole a, album was great. And what an album. And now I want more Adam Ant now. Well, you have another one, don't you? Yeah, uh... That we haven't heard yet. I don't know what my favorite song on here was, but I know Strip, so... The whole album was really good. Uh, I introduced Hunter to the movie Woodstock, and, and we heard Ten Years After during it. We had to start picking him up. Yeah, he got one up on me, because he's got one that I don't have. But I found this one first, didn't I? Yeah. Where'd I get this one at? Lost and Found Records for two bucks. Yeah. And uh, someone online said... This was one of their weaker efforts, and it was more folky. And it's our favorite. It's our favorite. It's rocking. It's rocking. I don't think it was folky at all. I don't either. Out of the three we picked up, it's the best one still. Best one. All of them have been good. Space and time. All of them have been good. If, if we made a top five That'd of, be in of there. the albums that we've picked up recently, That'd be in there. this would be in here. David Johansson would be I'd in there. I'd have to put David Johansson. Not sure about the other three yet, but... David Johansson would be there. No, it's just a few of my... All-time favorites that I own. I thought I'd just do that real quick. Yeah. My Castlevania. I had it's, the it's a it's a custom thing. I don't think you can even get it anymore. I had the chance to buy it at the convention. Oh, it's a. Uh, I'll I'll show that. It's a it's a picture disc. Not picture disc. It's oh, colored. It's, it's colored a, vinyl. Uh, I, I, okay, okay. Yeah, I think it's colored vinyl. Okay. Uh, my my Halloween records. Those are really it's cool. October. That one's really cool. I like that one. This is my favorite sound effect record. Plus, I grew up with it. I'm kind of. Oh, did you have that as a kid? Yeah, I had all three of these as a kid. Oh, okay. Monster Speaks, classic stories. Some people consider these stories cheesy today. I still think they hold up. Isn't that just the monsters telling stories? That's what yes. it is? Okay. And my House of Terror. That's got a badass cover, man. Yeah, it's torn a little bit down there, though. Can't Plus, it's a storybook you get to read while you're listening to the story. Really cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. It's uncommon. Uh... ACDC Highway to Hell. This actually uh, counts as we recently picked it up, and it's an all-time favorite. My, I don't know what I like better, this or Power Age, but I don't have Power Age yet on vinyl. I've never really listened to ACDC, but we heard that, and it was great. One of the only two records that survived from my childhood, Nucleus, Gem on Revenge. Uh, Got to give you props for getting me into them. I just picked this one up myself. Computer Age, Push the Button is my favorite. Um, they're, they're most known for Jam on it. Where's the Beats, the best song? Needs to be on the damn CD. Yeah, according to you. I still think it's the best song. And, uh, LL Cool J Radio. It's classic. I could have picked more off my shelf, but... It's Try. LL. We already got so many. Let's go to yours now. Okay, I well, guess... What's your top? I'll start with some all-time favorites. I gotta, obligatorily... I don't even know if that's a word. I gotta put Dark Side of the Moon. I like it. My favorite Floyd album. Have to put Kill Em All. Gotta oh, put, gotta I put, am jealous of this. Have to put that on the list. Because that's expensive. That's really, that, that's more expensive than my trick or treat. You're not getting this for under 40. And I want that so bad and, on record. And I got mine for free. It's not fair. Uh, Super Tramp, Breakfast in America. I, this is the only Super Tramp album I've heard all the way through, but it's a masterpiece. Molly Hatchet, Beating the Odds. I know you're not huge on the Southern Rock thing. I'm not really either, but I do like Molly Hatchet. I want to uh, mention that this could be a multi-part thing. I might do more in the yeah. future of these. Uh, Okay, interesting one here. We got Frigid Pink. It's like 10 years after. Not as good, but it's close. I already forgot what it sounded like. It was a, it was like jam, jammy stuff. I Excellent. liked it, but I forgot. I, I put it in my watch list, but I already forgot what it sounded Excellent. like. Excellent. All-time favorite, Who's Next? Classic. Yeah, can't, can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that. And his rush pick was different than my rush pick. I tried to pick my favorite, but I love all of them. But I went for an oddball. I went for A Farewell to Kings because it has Xanadu, which might be my all-time favorite rush song. It's close. I love the song Madrigal, and I love the song Close Up to Heart. I mean, I like all of them. But I like all the Rush albums as well, like he does. But I even like the later stuff. Like, I liked Hold Your Fire. I thought Counterparts that we heard in the car was pretty good. Uh, another all-time favorite. Thick as a brick. We just listened to this one tonight, but I've a lot. But I've known it forever. I never, heard, I never heard a full uh, Tull album. Tull album. But now we've heard Aqualung and this. I like the Aqualung better. 
think I prefer this one, but both are really good. I put them both on my watch list. All right, wait a minute. One's missing here. Want list, watch list. Let's put this down now. That's why. Oh, did you have Aqualung? Oh, no. no. Okay, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Forgot. Uh, Iron Maiden's debut. I'd never heard it till recently. I'm jealous of this, but too. it might be an all-time favorite now. It was excellent. I have it on CD, so I've heard it. And Anthrax Among the Living. It's my favorite Anthrax album because it's the first one that I heard, but everything Anthrax has is great. I prefer Spreading the Disease, but I don't have any Anthrax in vinyl, and I want them all. Just like Maiden. So those are some all-time favorites. Just... But we'll uh, get into... I'll just say Metallica, Anthrax, and Maiden are not cheap vinyl to get. Especially Metallica. That's probably the most expensive one. So it, I want all this stuff, but I can't afford it. Unless you find it for a dollar. Yeah. All right, so we'll do some all-time favorites. And I'll start with this. Or not all-time favorites. Recent listens that were really good. You weren't too big on this, but I love Devo, and I hadn't heard I this. I didn't hate it. But it wasn't your favorite. It wasn't my favorite. I liked this a lot. I'm still looking for their debut, because their debut... It's closer to a punk rock album. But this one was really good, too. It's got a lot of their hits on it. But excellent. I like that a lot. Uh, nobody has probably ever heard of this band. Rail. I even like that. Uh, it's a mini album. It's only got four songs. Um, and they're not even... Uh, in, they don't even speak English, do they? They speak English. This is an English band. Oh, well, they're from well, Washington. What am I thinking of? Focus, probably. Or something else we listen to, maybe? Oh, that other metal band. Other metal band? That we heard at Basement Records. I don't remember what it was now. It wasn't this. It wasn't real? No. Did but, I like that? Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, you got me off track now. I know what band you're talking about, but the name... I thought you picked it up. I don't think so, unless it's in this pile. I don't know. Rail, unknown band from Washington. They had, like, three albums. They never had a real big hit, but good. Okay, French. Oh! I should have pulled that out. Damn it. It's in my box. Trust. Trust. It's like a French ACDC. That's what we're thinking about. I didn't pull it out, but I have trust. It's excellent. I want to hear that rail again, because now I don't remember how it sounded. It's good. Okay. Briar. Think the most generic 80s metal rock album ever for the most generic movie ever, and this is what this is. Is it harder than Dokken? Yeah. Yeah, is it harder than Dokken? It is harder than Dokken. It was good. But it was very, very generic. That's an inside joke. But I, I, I said, yeah. it, it, it's something, it, to, to compare metal, I said, is it harder than docking? And if it's not, don't buy it. But I bought it because it said it thanked Ozzy Osbourne, Bruce Dickinson, and Lemmy. Well, I could put out an album and say the same thing. Yeah, so I don't know what that really <laughs> meant, but the cover is badass. I like yeah, I like the cover. Not the best album, but not a waste of three bucks. I put this in my list just because... I picked it up first. Yeah, but Because I bought it as an experiment. Gufria? Mine was like a dollar and fifty cents. I yours, no, I think yours was 68 cents. <laughs> I had to pay three bucks, but... It's... Kind of like... Arena it, it's Rock. It's Arena Rock, almost like Tesla, sort of. I wouldn't say Tesla. Kind of like Quiet Ride, but not quite. Almost like Sticks, maybe. Yeah. More along those lines. Sticks and Quiet Ride. Yeah. It was good... It's not the best album I've ever heard, but not bad. Here's a good one. Another yeah, band that I'd never heard of that, you know, we're in a couple Facebook groups, and people went apeshit for this. They are like, Zebra is great. I first saw them in concert with Rail. Heard that a couple times. Heard that a couple times. I liked it, too. This is the debut, and it was great. I think my favorite song was the La La song, but it was all really good. I want it now, too. I think their hit was... Was the hit on this song? It might have been Tell Me What You Want. I don't remember. But that was really good. So when we went to the convention, I had to buy the second one. Not as good. Really good still. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I didn't but, like it as much. But not as not as good. But also, good. I think No Telling Lies might have been a hit, too. Again, another unknown band now, that there's never... A, there's a story about this next one, because it's actually my record. Okay. This is Rob's Pro Call Harm, A Salty Dog. I bought it because we heard Robin Trower. It's got Robin Trower on guitar. But it's not like Robin Trower. I, at first when we listened through it, I did, I was like, okay. They're the ones who do the song, Wider Shade of Pale. Shade of Pale. And you, you, you can kind of hear that as he's singing yeah. through the songs. It's nautical themed. It's really cool. 
At first when we heard it, I was like, hey, you know, it's okay. But I paid I, eight bucks for it. I listened to it again last night. I don't normally... We experiment because it said Robin Trower. I normally don't pay that much for experimental. But, but the cover is badass. It said Robin Trower. And now I want it from you, but you won't give it up. Yeah, I won't give it up. I might just have to go on Discogs and buy it, but I freaking love The Milk of Human Kindness. That might be my new favorite song, but it's really cool. Um, I won't give it up. I liked it. He likes it better, but I liked it. It wasn't bad. It was good, but I liked it a lot. Oh, here we go. Who live it leads? I want this myself. Mine was a little scratchy, but that is a combination yeah. of I heard it wasn't pressed well. I heard it wasn't pressed well. And, and mine does, is in imperfect shape. It doesn't have all the songs that they did at the concert. It only has like six out of like 30. The, the new CD has everything. Yeah, but. And it's remastered. But still, excellent. I still want it myself. I haven't heard all of White. I think that's on CD. Even if I heard the CD's better, we're vinyl collectors. Gotta have the record. I want the record. Found this at the flea market. Excellent. Excellent. No, you eat over this pile. Yeah, I was about to, <laughs> oh, oh, here you go, Rob. The Sweet. I've been looking for some sweet stuff for a long time. This is Desolation Boulevard. This spawned, I think, three of their hits. I like Sweet because I like Fox on the Run. Had Ballroom Blitz, Sweet F.A., which is probably the most rocking song on the album. My Fox favorite the is Fox on the Run. But I really loved the whole album. I have another one, which we haven't listened to yet, but it had another big song on that. They love, uh, love is Like Oxygen. Yeah, maybe we'll show it next time since we didn't listen yeah, to it yet. Yeah, but really good. I like that. This was excellent. The Small Faces. Ogden's Nut Gone Flake. I'll pull out the sleeve here. That is a badass cover. And it's an excellent... I added it to my watch list, but it's not it's cheap. Not, it's not cheap. I it's, might not ever own it. It's not extremely cheap. Unless I find that in a dollar bin. Mine's not in great shape. What did you pay for it? I paid 12 but it was years ago now. Could have been where over the years. Really, really cool, like, psychedelic, progressive rock almost. Excellent. Oh, that actually relates to something else I'm going to show later that I put in my stack. Paranoid. Had to put this. Well, I want I want all the Ozzy yeah, I'd Sabbath buy, I'd buy in, all in my collection. Really, really good on vinyl. It was nice to listen to it. I still think my favorite song is Fairies Wear Boots. I, think, I might have to agree with you on that. I think it's the best song. I thought Paranoid and Iron Man have been played so many times. Same with War Pigs. I, I want to say Rat Salad with Paranoid Boots. Yeah, that's really good. Because I think these two songs kind of together. go together. But the whole album is really good. I don't have any Sabbath yet, but I want them all. Yeah. All really good. All this. Oh, this I want this, too. This was a surprise. Elton John's debut. It's not what you think. It's more rock based almost it's not like his generic pop stuff and the end did a really cool thing where it kind of sampled all the songs yeah it was really uh, really cool what style would you want to like almost like 10 years after sort of kind of uh, yeah sort of it didn't feel like elton john i had it for so long and i'd never listened to it and we i decided the reviews online are not as hot for this one. but i said screw it we'll listen to it and it is my new favorite. I think Elton people John. online don't know what they're talking about because this was good. Because it's not like his other stuff. He changed up styles. Yeah. But, I mean, the whole album was a freaking, almost a masterpiece. It was great. Oh, this. <laughs> this. I bought this a long time ago, too, because I love the song Incense and Peppermints. And, what was it somebody said earlier? The guy for, oh, one of the guys in here is in Leonard Skinner. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't know which one it is. Ed something. Ed Keith or something. But honestly, I think every other song was better than the hit song. Yeah, I everything. Agree. It, it was. I never heard this either, and I loved it just. As it's much. an excellent psychedelic rock album. Really, really good. I mean, how can you go wrong with the rainy day mushroom pillow? <laughs> it was great. That was a good listen. Oh, well, I guess I pulled this out. He is out of order. Okay. Aqualong. Aqualong. Yeah, good. Another experimental for a dollar. Jigsaw. Jigsaw. I'd never heard of Jigsaw. You'd never heard of Jigsaw. And I still think my favorite song was the first song, Sky High, which was apparently their only hit. But we I like, like... We like experimental with music. But I liked it all. Well, I like the cover. The cover's If it's cool. only a dollar. The cover was really cool. And it's kind of like Chicago, sort of. With sort more of. disco. But it was yeah. good. I liked that. You gotta thank me for this. Yeah. Cinderella, Long Cold Winter. Because I don't even own this on record. We, Rob bought the CD at McKay's. We listened to it in the car. And I really liked it a lot, so 
couple weeks ago. I would have bought this myself. Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Found it for a couple bucks. Really, really excellent. All the way through. And I pulled both of them out. Both the 10 years after. Rock and Roll Music to the World and Alvin Lee and Company. This I, one was better. I own this one as well. This is a German pressing, too. Yeah, I have the German version. And I don't have that one. Out of the two, this one was better. Yeah. But that one was really good, too. And it's... 10 years after is one of those bands that where you, you think, how did they never get big? Yeah, well, maybe they were big in their time. Maybe... maybe you know, you're not at Woodstock that's if you're true. not big. I don't know if that's true, because they had uh, Country Joe. He couldn't have been that big. <laughs> I can't imagine. You should have pulled that down. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't his best album, though. Yeah. I think we, we'll yeah. wait till the... Oh, I should show the fish game. Oh, yeah. I'll just do this one while you're pulling that off. Uriah Heep's debut. Excellent. Hard rock album. Amazing. And the cover is freaking cool, man. If you fold it out, look at that. Badass. Surprisingly, the European cover it's, is tech could technically be better. They're both really good, but the European one is expensive. But awesome. Yeah, it's it's a different awesome. Yeah. And it's also called something else over there. You gonna pull out your fish game? Okay, here's Country Joe and the Fish. We like this a lot. It was good. It's weird. Yeah. But one of the songs from Woodstock was on it. Yeah. It was more folky than we expected, because we expected something... I expected some more like, uh... Like, solely, soul like he did at the show. Yeah. Uh, we, we think he might be a better live performer than a studio performer. But it was good. Is this, where's the fish game? There it is. This could be rare. Yeah, if, if you have the fish game... This is worth more. Supposedly, if you don't have the fish game, the record's not worth much at all. A couple bucks. You got the fish game. It's hard. You, you get could, it. Maybe, was it, what, 30, 40, Yeah, I think? somewhere around there. And uh, I got this from uh, Basement Records. Dollar Bin. Dollar Bin. No, not Basement Records. Lost and Found. This is a board game that you can play. It's called the fish game. It's, you know, it's, it's goofball stuff. But it's it's really cool. Yeah. And that was a dollar, or no, three bucks maybe? I think this is Lost and Found, not Basement Records. I think you pulled this out of Lost and Found. It's no, got... I got this at Basement Records. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. It was in those boxes. Uh... Underneath? Yeah. Okay. For three bucks. Awesome find, though. Back to your stuff. Okay, I talked about the small faces earlier. Steve Marriott went on to form Humble Pie, who... And then the faces, small faces went on to become faces with Rod Stewart, so it's a whole freaking mess. This was a free bin find, and we listened to it. You don't remember it. I don't, I remember, I really liked it a lot. It was good. And all I know about Humble Pie, other than this, was this was the album right after Frampton left. So I guess Frampton started with them. I have this record too now. Good rock album. Yes. He pulled out one Focus, so I'm pulling out the other. Focus, Focus 2 or re-released over here as Moving Waves. This is what had their hit, Focus Focus. But on the live album, they did Eruption, and they did Focus 2. I don't know what I like better, the uh, the uh, Hocus Pocus or the Hamburger Concerto. <laughs> both, that bass drop Yeah, is both else. are really good. But Rob's got me on the Focus. i got to get more Focus stuff. Yeah, I, w I want the whole uh, discography now. Uh, I only pulled out this one, but I have three now. This is Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's debut. I had no idea what they were. I always confuse them with Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I didn't know what they were, and it's really cool. Almost kind of like experimental jazz rock. It, it's all over the place, but it's good. So now I have Tarkus, which is the second one, and I have Trilogy, which I think is the I like that enough that I got it as well. Good. And I guess this is the last one I pulled out. We've been listening to some of Nugent's stuff. I decided not to pull out Nugent because I felt I pulled out too much stuff. Yeah. I wanted to, I said I'd focus on Alice Cooper instead. Yeah. But this is Scream Dream. This was my favorite that I think we listened to, but everything we've heard has been good. I think I have more Nugent albums than you do yeah. at this point, but we only listened to one we, of them. We listened to The Debut, we listened to State of Shock. And two of mine. We listened to one other one of yours. We listened to two of mine and two of yours. And then we heard this. Yeah. Excellent. So we still got two or three of mine yeah, left. Quite a few. And I guess that's everything. That's going to be a 40-minute video here. If anybody cares. If anybody cares, if anybody watches. Good and, recommendations. Uh, and uh, if Hunter hasn't moved out yet, yeah. in a week's time, maybe we'll do a, a part two 
of what we have left and haven't listened to and what we think is excellent. Because there's so much. There will be a part two. Yeah, there's going to be. It has to be. So, for now, that's the end of this video. So, thanks for watching.